Check your mailbox, check your bank account. New payments of up to $943 are coming out today, April 1st, for Social Security recipients. Also, new bill for Social Security recipients that would boost increased payments across the board for every single Social Security recipient. You're not going to want to miss what's in that bill as we just heard an interview from Bernie Sanders talking about the $200 more per month or $2,400 more per year bill. You're not going to want to miss that. Stay tuned for Bernie Sanders' interview and I'll give you some other important interview uh, updates as well. Before I dive into the main content, if you appreciate the social security updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more social security updates. Let's get into it here. First, who receives $943 from social security on April 1st today? Uh, this is not an April Fool's joke. This is actually going out. So if we scroll down here just a little bit, uh, you'll see. So today, April 1st, for SSI benefits, they've risen to $943 for individuals and $1,415 for couples. So depending on what you got last month will determine what you got this month. But when it comes to the actual payment schedule for April, really brief, Wednesday the 10th is going to be the first payment. Wednesday the 17th is going to be the second payment for birthdays between 11th and the 20th. And Wednesday the 24th, are going to be the third payment for birthdays between the 21st and the 31st. So I'm going to go over this payment schedule again when the next payment comes out. But when it comes to uh, the actual payments of what you're getting, it all depends on whatever you got last, last month if you're on SSI. Uh, I'll go over payment uh, details and other payments uh, in a couple of days. But first, let's get into it here. What's going on with Bernie Sanders? So Bernie Sanders, Democrats, introduced Bill boosting social security benefits. So Bernie Sanders said this, at a time when nearly half or older Americans have no retirement savings, almost 50% of our nation's seniors are trying to survive on an income of less than $25,000 a year. Our job is not to cut social security. Our job is to expand social security so that every senior in America can retire with dignity that they deserve and every person with a disability can live with the social security they need. I actually just have the security they need. But this is the bill that has been reintroduced. Social security recipients would get an extra $200 a month in reintroduced bills. So this bill is the Social Security Expansion Act. So this has actually been introduced and reintroduced multiple times, but yet still no vote on it. Bernie Sanders is basically the poster boy for this bill, talking about how he wants to have an extra $200 more per month for every single Social Security recipient uh, across the board. So take a look at what Bernie Sanders has to say. Uh, so this is actually not a visual, it's just a radio appearance he did, I believe, on NPR. So take a look and a listen. Senator Sanders, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, you held a hearing in February addressing what you're calling a retirement crisis in the U.S. What do you see as the key reasons for retirement access declining? Well, what we've been seeing in, in many decades now is a massive shift of income and wealth uh, from the bottom 90% to the top one percent. Uh, we have seen workers earning um, very low wages, not keeping up with inflation. Uh, we have seen defined pension, defined benefit pension plans uh, done away with. Uh, and for many seniors in this country, Social Security is just not doing it. Uh, the sad truth is that while we often think of ourselves as the wealthiest nation on earth, uh, the reality is that in terms of our social safety net, for working people and low-income people, we are behind many, many other countries. Uh, we have one of the highest rates, not only of childhood poverty, uh, but of, of poverty for senior citizens as well. So we need to do some fundamental rethinking to make sure that in the wealthiest country in the history of the world, our seniors can retire uh, with dignity. Well, Senator, talk us briefly through your proposed plan to improve retirement access. Well, for a start, we need major reforms in Social Security. Uh, right now, about a quarter of seniors uh, are living on less than $15,000 a year. That is unimaginable. Uh, about half are living under $30,000 a year. And I don't know how you do that, the high cost of health care and prescription drugs. Uh, so first of all, we have to reform Social Security. What does that mean? It means that right now, uh, if you are making millions of dollars a year, 
you pay into the Social Security Trust Fund the same amount of money as somebody making $168,000 a year because there's a cap on Social Security taxes. So we have introduced legislation which has a number of co-sponsors, which lifts the cap uh, on all taxable income. If you do that, you can increase Social Security benefits by about $2,400 for seniors and importantly extend uh, the solvency of Social Security for another 75 years. So that's a very important and obvious thing that has to be done. Uh, Senator, let's pause for one moment. I just want to remind people we're here with Independent Senator Bernie Sanders, also with us Rachel Gresler with the Heritage Foundation, and Professor Teresa Gellarducci, author of Work, Retire, Repeat. I'm Jen White. You're listening to 1A. Uh, Senator, go ahead. All right. Well, so I think that's, that's number one. Number two, we've got to work very hard to bring back defined benefit uh, pension plans. Uh, a few generations ago, if somebody worked at an auto plant, we had an auto worker coming before us. Uh, if her grandparents, when they retired, had a defined benefit pension plan, they knew what they were getting and would get for the rest of their lives. Uh, unfortunately, uh, over the years, those plans have been done away with when you have been replaced by a variety of other plans, bottom line, which are not providing the security uh, that seniors need. Many presidents have tried to address Social Security's long-term solvency issue without success. Why do you think we haven't seen more movement, Senator? Well, it's the same old story. Right now we have a fairly corrupt political system in which big money plays uh, an enormously important role. And at the top of the list for wealthy individuals for the billionaire class, is the desire not to pay uh, any more in taxes. So what we're saying is right now you have an absurd situation uh, that a working person pays 6.2% of their income uh, in social security taxes, but if you're a billionaire, you pay a fraction of that. So they resist clearly for the people on top. They don't wanna pay their fair share of taxes. In fact, they wanna even lower their tax burden And that is the major obstacle that we're facing. We got this email from Virginia who says, I read that over the past decades, the government has borrowed money from the Social Security coffers. And this is one reason the fund is in jeopardy of running out. If this is true, I think the government agencies that borrowed from Social Security should be required to pay it back. Senator, what would you say to Virginia? Uh, That's not accurate. Social Security trust fund. I mean, there are accounting issues there, I guess. But at the end of the day, we know what is in the Social Security trust fund. Uh, and it is not being stolen despite mythology uh, by other agencies. Well, I want to bring our other guests back in to, to hear your thoughts about Senator Sanders' plan. Rachel, your thoughts? Yes, well, I'd like to congratulate Senator Sanders first for being willing to talk about this and for actually having the only proposal in Congress that would make the program solvent. Um, I don't think that it will be palatable enough. The size of the tax increases, certainly not to get any conservatives on board, and probably um, some of the more liberal lawmakers would be skeptical of that as well. But at least it puts a stakeholder out there about here is something that would, at least on paper, make the program solvent. Um, I think one of the problems, though, is when you kind of use up so many of the tax increases that have been proposed on the wealthy for just one program in Social Security, it's really not leaving anything left to address our existing deficits less yet the progressive agenda. And if you increase taxes, 100% tax rate on people earning over 200000 it would only pay for half of what progressives have proposed. Um, and so I just think that there's a limit to how much those taxes can cover. And Teresa, your thoughts? I want to hear from the senator after this. Sure. Not, um, Rachel and I aren't lawmakers. We're economists, or at least I'm an economist, and the numbers work out. The, um, the numbers will help actually reduce our sky-high poverty levels, and there's enough money out there. As an economist, I can say the levels that we're talking about of tax increases will not affect the incentive to hire people to create jobs or affect the productivity of our economy. So from that perspective, there's plenty of money, and it's a very sound plan. Uh, Senator, we're at the start of an election year that will only get more intense. 52% of registered voters are 50 and older. That's according to the Pew Research Center. Do you have any hopes that that will motivate uh, actors on both sides of the aisle to find some way to come together and solve this issue? Do you have hope that that could happen? Well, I I hope so. I, I surely do. I think the point that has to be made, which is not made often enough, is 
while we are the wealthiest country in the history of the world, we are also in a moment where we have unprecedented levels of income and wealth inequality. And the simple reality is that I think most people understand is the people on top are doing phenomenally well. They have never, ever had it so good. And yet 60% of our people are working paycheck to paycheck. Some 45% of older workers have nothing in the bank as they face retirement. People can't afford the high cost of prescription drugs. They can't afford health care. Housing costs are going up. So I would hope that candidates in both parties say, you know what? What this election should be about is a debate as to how we can help working families, the elderly, and our children as well. What are your thoughts on Bernie Sanders? Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. So Bernie Sanders has been pushing for higher pay for Social Security recipients for a while now, but still no vote, no action has been taken on any Social Security bill. But could things change because it's an election year? We're going to see the next few months are probably going to see more activity when it comes to Social Security. But that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, I'm going to give you the five positive tips to make you start your day and make you be positive and grateful as much as you can. So first, stay happy, stay strong, and have good vibes. If you want to see what Republican senators are saying about Social Security and their Social Security plan in the Senate, uh, take a look at this video right up here as it goes more into detail. And I'll show another interview from a Republican senator talking about Social Security. So click that video now and I'll see you in that video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.